as the 2023 Nigerian general elections draws nearer, a lot of Nigerians have already started to consider who will be the best candidate for president in 2023. The research for someone who could bring a balance to the present condition of the nation is currently on. A lot has been said already about zoning and a lot of prominent men who have presidential ambitions have recently kicked against zoning and opted for equal opportunity to be given to everyone to run for the presidency. So far, all eyes have been on the political giant like Chief Bola Metinumbu, who is the national leader of the All Progressive Congress. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, who served as Vice President under former President Ulushe Gwabasanjo, Dr. Bukola Saraki, former Senate, uh, Senate President of the Eighth Assembly, Sanusi Lamidu Sanusi, former Emir of Kano, who was dethroned by Governor Ganduji of Kano State, Dr. Peter Grory, who be Vice Presidential Aspirant of the PDP in the 2019 general election, Rocha Sokorucha, Nigerian philanthropist and politician, Dr. Chris Ngigi, the current Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Gulo Ibele Jonathan, former President of Nigeria, and a list of others from all geopolitical zones of Nigeria. Great men have shown interest in the presidential race come 2023. And even though we have almost three years to the time, they are already on the ground movement by these aspirants to put things in place before the time comes. Although nothing have been, has been going on concerning the 2020 series, but it is almost certain that Nigeria might not be considering a president from the north because President Muhammadu Buhari has just had two terms and is currently in the second term. However, there is a man from the north that has not been talked about and might not be in the spotlight but cannot be ruled out if brought to the table. A man who has won the heart of many by his selflessness, love for the people, his determination and courage, one who is assumed to be the most troubled present governor with issues to deal with and strong decisions to make a daily basis. One man who arguably faces more challenges than any other present governor right now. His name is Professor Baba Ghana Umara Zulum, present governor of Borno State, a state being terrorized by the deadly Boko Haram set. Remember, Nigerians may not want another president from the north in 2023, but this man has not said anything about the 2023 presidential elections as we know he might not be interested in running that race, but is one man who won the heart of many through his achievements and courage. Baba Ghana Zulum. Here is why Professor Zulum would not be rejected by anyone. Professor Baba Ghana Umara Zulum was born on the 25th day of August 1969, aged 51 in Mafa local government area of Borno State, which makes him a son of the soil. After elementary schooling in Mafa Primary School from 1975 to 1980, and secondary education in Government Secondary School Mugono from 1980 to 1985, he studied at the University of Meduguri, where he obtained a degree in Agricultural Engineering, after which he served as a youth corps member with Casina State Polytechnic. He proceeded to the University of Ibadan from 1997 to 1998, where he obtained a master's degree in agricultural engineering. In 2005, he enrolled for a PhD in soil and water engineering with the University of Meduguri, which he completed in 2009. All records show that Professor Zulum had arguably not left the country for any of his degrees anywhere, but has fully participated and benefited from what is obtainable in the country. Professor Babagana Umara Zulum has actually had a promising career which most of it again is in and is in, in and around the state of origin. His state of origin. He was appointed the assistant assistant technical officer in Bono State University of Agriculture in nineteen eighty nine with the state civil service. He then moved 
in 1990 into the Bono State Uni Uni Unified Local Government Service as senior field overseer. He has served as the principal water engineer in the year 2000, assistant lecturer in the University of Meduguri, Dean, Faculty of Engineering, same university, rector of Rahmat Polytechnic, commissioner of reconstruction, rehabilitation and resettlement, a position he had until he became the governor of Borno State in 2019. His political prowess, because of Governor Zulum's enthusiasm and selfless acts in his service and the impact he has made with the little positions he has had in his career, it was not difficult for him to become the flag bearer of the or oh, Progressive Congress, where he won the primaries on the first day of October 2018 and later won the election election as the present governor of the state. And his achievement so far, although one might be forced to ask the question of what anyone could possibly do as a governor in a state like Bono, where there is completely a constant struggle with insurgency, but, there, but here are some of the things this governor has achieved in the space in the face of these sad realities in the state a state where there is also one destruction by Boko Haram in some Jersey or the other the governor professor Baba Ghana Zulum has worked wonders and is still doing great as it is evident this is a man who has the plight of the people first before anything else no wonder in his hundred days in office which was celebrated with a lot of other leaders left in a state of surprise and admiration admiration for such passion and achievements in just 365 days. In just 365 days, the number one man in Borno State, Professor Zulum, had undertook 375 projects of which 326 are physical projects with the remaining 29 are capital intensive programs and policies. A whooping 375 projects in 365 days, this means that he undertook averagely one project every day. For such a remarkable exploit, who wouldn't love Governor Zulum of Borno State, a governor who has made giant strides to tackle the security challenges in his state and was so courageous to go to any part of the state, no matter how risky it might be. He has been tagged with the name the workaholic governor. As stressed in a report by the Blueprint of July 1st, 2020. Hmm. So, guys, uh, this is what uh, we are hearing that this man, because of this, he might, if, if he intends to contest in 2023, he might want to, the Nigerians might want to accept him. Hmm. Uh, even though the North people might not want to get a, another Northern and again. I don't know whether you think in that line because all of this is just to let us know the biography and the what the man has, the what the man has been into all this while. But to me, I don't think all of this is we really fly for Nigerians. Well, we don't want president from Northern Self Self Center. They are. He will be good for the Northerners, but not for Nigeria seat of president. Obviously, uh, Governor Baba Zulum is very is a very good material that most. Most of the Nigerians may accept, but the unwritten law of zoning may not favor him. However, I want to suggest that he should be a running mate to strong-minded person and a very good achiever from the South. Ruchas Okorucha is a very good example. This is my opinion. Okay? Okay, really thoughtful of you. Most of this loan uh, are scam. Um, the not see has a lot of good people who are mentally okay to lead the nation. But please, let those Fulanese park quietly and stay out of politics to un they understand what democracy is all about. Buari has twice demonstrated that he and his Fulani families are nothing but leeches. They only drop blood to the last drop. It will be good for regional governments if the 1999 TIF document is changed. With all their qualifications, what have they offered to Nigerians? What have they invested? What's their pedigree? So guys, let's say your opinion and let's know your thoughts on this.